Hey there, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we have from Porter Robinson, Smile. So let's be brutally honest, does anyone really want to hear my opinion on the newest Porter Robinson album, given my history with him the past decade? You really sure about that? Because my frustrations are pretty well established by this point. For as much as his music wants to have this soaring, yearning energy, it always feels a little compromised by either the utter lack of groove, or a lingering feeling of self-conscious deflection, either subtextual on worlds, or made more quasi-ironic as no Knowing winks to the audience on Nurture, which is a very online coded project and tends to work very well for a Gen Z audience that would crave that gesture of distance from getting too cringeworthy or too real. And I think once that observation crystallized for me, most notably when the singles for Smile started rolling out, I started to get Porter Robinson a little bit more. Not precisely like him, but get a handle on the emotional through line, especially given how much the meta text of his creative process has informed the general arc of his work. So now to embrace the full blown out pop pivot where the up-tempo squealing sense and the gauzy electronics, they draw an even more stark parallel to the 1975, especially on the back half of this album, and I was shocked to check my notes and recognize that I heard this telegraphed on Nurture three years ago, where the last album was grappling with the process of making new music, this album is much more caught up in the aftermath of its release and success and the party, which would come with fandom in the industry and questions of how to follow it up, where the smile in question feels all the more forced in order to balance out the messy, raging emotionality. And I will give Porter Robinson this credit. When the parasocial relationships and existential frustration and stress, when they feel more externalized, especially after Nurture, where Porter Robinson tried to put in so much work internally to grow and then come out the other side still not really that happy, he feels feels marginally more sympathetic as an artist. The tension is higher. It brings to mind the adage that what people will say ironically, they often believe unironically. Keep that in mind for the rest of this review. And that Porter Robinson is in the eye of that storm, for better and for worse. When you factor in how he created that deflection in his performance, and how so much of the audience got it, and whether or not that's a blurry moving target, especially if he started getting high on his own supply, those yearning veneers are going to get tarnished, in my opinion, for the better. Now, of course, he doesn't fully commit to the bit. As much as this album is in intense conversation with fandom culture, he's not about to forsake it. But it's also why the reference to Taylor Swift on Knock Yourself Out is actually kind of on point, given the Tortured Poets department, where she's running on a lot of the same pop dichotomy. But where her confrontational venom felt a bit more justified, given the projections of moralism on her personal life, Porter Robinson's just not going to go nearly as far. And it feels a a lot thinner when the more earnest crowd pleasers with the self-deprecating winks fill up the back half of this album. Again, how very the 1975 of him. And there are references being made here that just struck a really sour note. Even if it's intended to be self-deprecating, the pitchfork lines on Russian roulette are eye-rolling, petty, and dated to boot, reminiscent of the same precious anti-critic sentiments on Nurture that I didn't like. And I can't be the only one who found the juxtaposition of the Lil Wayne, Tim Westwood interview on Year of the Cup to be in very poor taste divorced from the context of that moment for Wayne in 2009, where he was being used and abused by the industry, not having nearly as much money, visibly in a downward spiral of addiction, and, well, nowhere near as privileged as Porter Robinson's whinging on that song for not being allowed to show his uglier human side, as if EDM DJ culture hasn't spent the past decade plus reveling in it, and his audience would give him a pass, and that's before adding in the context context of the Westwood abuse scandals coming into light in recent years. And that same self-indulgence also crops up on Kitsune Mason Freestyle. I get the struggle to having to present as that you got it all together when you very clearly aren't, you're trying to buy the brands to give you some fleeting satisfaction and it's not working, but that interlude where he cuts in how he regrets getting veneers because I can't get the teeth my mom gave me back in my mouth? Maybe it's coincidentally not having a good experience at the dentist just 
just today, but that weird specificity alongside the ugly affluenza arrested development context doesn't exactly help any attempt at sympathy from me, ironic or otherwise. Of course, the other factor to all this is execution in the production, where alongside the twinkling, more acoustic pop cuts that really want to borrow Jack Antonov's atmospherics without the subtlety or pathos, we got the over-caffeinated, over-compressed synths and guitars that are bit-crushed through late 90s pop radio-ready blocks, where it's not like the issues I've had with Porter Robinson have exactly gone away. The drums feel blocky and underpowered to support any sense of groove when they don't feel fizzy and formless. The filmy vocal processing slips towards chipmunk territory a decent bit more than I would like. The guitars have no organic warmth in their timbre. The closest that he gets is Easy to Love You, where he brings in a banjo of all things and it's not bad. And for the first time structurally, it really feels like Porter Robinson wants a TikTok ready slice of that nostalgia. At least with Nurture, I could argue the sound felt kind of forward thinking or somewhat fresh. This absolutely does not. To the point where is there really no happiness playing as a Nurture retread? It's one of the stronger songs on the album. And yes, while I know he's making that point, it's making commentary on this sort of overly commercial party approach if the baseline sound still has lingering issues, simply playing the game to ramp up the melodic hooks to 11, it might not save you. Even if on those strengths alone, I can't in good conscience say this is a bad project. But at the same time, I can also tell when an artist is starting to eat his own tail with an Ouroboros, and where being self-aware about that fact isn't exactly saving him. I can appreciate wanting to make statements about stardom and stan culture, but this project spends more time just gesturing half ironically at its point to have it all both ways and the underlying petulance really starts grating on my nerves and the production does not help. I agree that in a way he failed to write his party album and wound up with one that's much more revealing as he confessed more context. It's just a shame that said context echoes what I've already heard the past decade both from him and done better elsewhere. Again the hooks are good enough. I'm not gonna call this bad. I just can't can't really call it good either, so take it or leave it. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more, please be sure to like, share, drop comments, subscribe. I know Porter Robinson fans are going to get angry at me. Third time's the charm. I've been down this road before, but this is not that good. And again, I haven't thought he was that good for the past decade, but again, I think now having more context, my opinions have only really crystallized and this just proved it. Beyond that, though, anything else I might be able to do to improve my presentation, I'm all ears. And if y'all want to get involved in helping support the channel, get albums on my schedule, yell at me on my Discord, link to my Patreon is right over there. Don't feel obligated. Tough times, I understand. But the option's available. Till then, I'm Mark, you're watching Spectrum Pulse, and I'll see you next time.